both equal negative 2x to the fourth times the square root of x plus 3 divided by x times the square root of x. And we want to determine f prime. So we're trying to compute the derivative of this function. So we want to take a look at the first term. So my first term here is that negative 2x to the fourth times the square root of x. And we notice that we have a product here. So one option certainly would be to use the product rule if you know the product rule for derivatives. But in fact, it would be, I think, a little bit simpler if we thought about simplifying this function first. So let's rewrite the function. And by rewrite it, what I mean is let's take that square root of x and let's rewrite that as x to the 1 half power. And I suggest that we do that for the second term as well. So we have 3 divided by x times x to the 1 half power. And we're just going to see if we can apply some of the algebra that we know to simplify these two individual terms as much as possible and then compute the derivative after we've simplified. So remember that when we are multiplying, we have x to the fourth times x to the one half, that we are going to essentially add those exponents. So we'll have negative two, and then four plus one half. Remember, just be careful with your fractions. I see some people just making silly fraction mistakes when we're adding fractions. So that's gonna end up being nine halves. So negative two x raised to the nine halves power. And then we'll do the exact same thing in the denominator because now we have an exponent of a 1 plus that 1 half. So that will be x to the 3 halves power in the denominator. And this looks much better than what we had before. The only other thing we might consider doing for the second term is rather than keeping the division that we have here, because if we kept the division, that would require us to use the quotient rule, which you may or may not know at this point. So rather than keeping that division, let's rewrite this quotient so that it doesn't have division anymore. And what I mean by that is essentially that x to the 3 halves that's in the denominator, we can bring that up to the numerator. And in doing that, that means that the exponent will be negative. So that's equivalent to 3x to the negative 3 halves power. So I haven't really done any calculus yet. I've just continued to use my algebra knowledge to try to basically rewrite this original function, which looked pretty complicated. But now what I have is two individual terms, and they are both x raised to a power. So we've learned the power rule, so we might as well use that now. So the derivative of x raised to the power of n is going to be n times x raised to the n minus 1 power. So we're going to utilize the power rule, and we're also going to utilize the constant multiple rule, which basically says if we have a constant times a function, then we can pull that constant out in front and multiply it by the derivative of the function. So those are essentially the two derivative rules that we're applying for this example. So let's give it a shot. So we have a negative 2, which will be that constant multiple. Then we'll use the power rule on x to the 9 halves. So that'll be 9 halves x. Then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Just do that carefully. When we're subtracting 1, that's like subtracting 2 over 2. So we have a new exponent of 7 halves. And then we'll do that again. So we have the 3, which is the constant multiple. The exponent comes in front. That's negative 3 halves. And then again, we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent, which is like subtracting 2 over 2. So we end up with an exponent of negative 5 halves. And then simplify, and I think we'll be there. We can divide out these 2s, negative 9x to the 7 halves power, minus 9 halves x to the negative 5 halves power. And this is a perfectly acceptable answer. This looks great. However, there are some instructors and some computer programs that don't want you to leave an answer with a negative exponent. So let's talk about some equivalent answers. So I'm going to put or because these are all going to be equivalent to what I have in this box. Negative 9x to the 7 halves minus this x to the negative 5 halves, we could go ahead and put that in the denominator. So that would be like 9 divided by 2x to the positive 5 halves power. So this is an alternative. 
that is equivalent to what I have written above. And we could even go one layer further than this if you were wanting to rewrite the x to the 7 halves and the x to the 5 halves so that they don't have exponents, so that they are written in their radical form instead. I should say they don't have fractional exponents. If we wanted to rewrite them so they don't have fractional exponents, then we just have to remember that the denominator of the exponent, the fractional exponent, is going to become the index of the radical. So this is the square root of x to the seventh power because the numerator of that fractional exponent is our exponent in the radical. That was a mouthful. Let's try that again. So 9 divided by 2 so x to the 5 halves is equivalent to the square root of x to the 5th. So this is another, a third equivalent way of writing the derivative, just depending on how your instructor is asking for the answer to be written or how the computer program that you're using for homework may be requiring the answer be written in the directions. I hope that helps.